Viral Mind presents five most horrific cannibals of all time. Number five, Armin Mewes. The case of Armin Mewes is a curious one as he is the only cannibal on this list whose victim came to him willingly with the desire to be killed and eaten. The events of 9th March 2001 came out after Mewes put out an ad for a fit 19 to 25 year old male who was willing to be butchered and consumed. It was answered by an engineer named Bern Jurgen Armando Brandes. In an evening that was taped for posterity, Mewes severed Brandes' penis and attempted to eat it with him before allowing him to die from blood loss and then hanging him on a meat hook and cutting off the flesh that he wished to consume, which he ate over the course of 10 months before his arrest in December 2002. Number 4. Andre Chikatilo between December of 1978 and November of 1990, Andre Chikatilo's murderous career saw him kill at least 56 people, according to his own confession, marking him out as one of the worst serial killers in history based on pure numbers alone. His killings had started before that final assault, with the murder of Yelena Zakatsnova in 1978 following a failed rape attempt. His mode of operation seemed to be to stab his victims in a frenzy before mutilating the body and dumping it. On occasion, tongue tips and some of the organs of his victims appeared to have been bitten off, hinting at a cannibalistic nature. He was executed via a single gunshot behind the ear in February of 1994. Number 3. Albert Fish During his early adult years, Albert Fish became increasingly obsessed with sexual torture and cannibalism, at one point torturing a man named Thomas Caden over the course of two weeks before cutting half his penis off. Unfortunately, he didn't get caught and his obsession with cannibalism grew to the point where he fed himself and his own children raw meat in an attempt to simulate the sensation. He was caught after kidnapping a young girl named Grace Budd in 1928. Despite being arrested for the crime, he was initially found not guilty and it was not until a sickening letter detailing the suffering that Grace had been put through arrived at the door of the Budd family in 1934 that his guilt was considered. When he was arrested again, a number of his other crimes came to light, including the murder and cannibalization of 8-year-old Frances McDonald and 4-year-old Billy Gaffney. Fish confessed to his crimes and was executed in January of 1936 in the electric chair. Number 2. Issei Sagawa Sagawa committed only one murder, that of Dutch student René Hardeveld, while in Paris. He invited her over to his apartment on the pretense of studying poetry together, only to shoot her in the back of the head with a rifle. Over the course of the next few days, he consumed parts of her body before attempting to dump the corpse in a river, where he was caught by French authorities. After being found insane by a French court leading to the charges being dropped, Sagawa was eventually deported to Japan and committed to the Matsuzawa Hospital where doctors found him to be sane. Unfortunately, due to previous insanity verdict, Sagawa could not be charged with the crime again in his homeland and simply walked free of the hospital in 1986. He supported himself upon release by writing about his crimes, though in recent years he has struggled to find publishers. Number 1. Jeffrey Dahmer Jeffrey Dahmer is one of the most notorious serial killers of all time, with the story of his crimes, which included murder, cannibalism, and necrophilia, and capture, receiving mass media attention in the early 1990s. His career in killing started long before that, as Dahmer's first murder was committed in 1978 when he killed 18-year-old Stephen Hicks. Following a gap of almost 10 years, Dahmer struck again in 1987 and began to strike more frequently over the next four years until he had racked up 17 murders. Before the murder of Anthony Sears in 1989, Dahmer had generally dismembered his victims or dissolved them in acid. However, after getting his own apartment, he began to become more experimental. 
At one point, he even started injecting acid into the skulls of his victims in an effort to make them subservient to his whims. It was the following year where he started to cannibalize his victims, often extracting the heart, biceps, and other muscles and organs for later consumption. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for the latest updates.